our movie review of the Blair Witch Project. He let you watch that movie? You? Um, sure he let me watch it. Ish. So anyway, let's review the movie, shall we? What? You're just so into whatever you're into. Okay, looks good. Hi, I'm Betty, and this is Veronica. Let's just acknowledge the fact that our parents are super, super lame and move the hell on, shall we? Hi, I'm Betty, and this is Veronica, and we're here to review the awesome movie, The Blair Witch Project. This incredible documentary was discovered by a Hollywood producer and brought to us as a cautionary tale to not screw around with witches yet. So... Wait a minute. What? What? You, you think this crap really happened? Mm-hmm. Honey, that's just a promotional campaign. Even our puppy knows that. Archie doesn't know that. He knows the truth, that this really happened. This really? Betty, it's just a movie. Take that back. It really happened. No, it didn't. Okay, okay, look. I guess this is just a harmless confusion on your part. You'll forget about this in a week. What do you mean? I mean, you're right. The Blair Witch is real. Yay! Betty Betty going. It all started when I found a 1931 S. Penny and found out I could sell it for $200,000, which enabled me to pursue my dream. Are you rolling, Chad? Okay. Hi, I'm found Betty, and this is my best friend, Stacy. And she's here because she's going to be my helper. She's going to help me do research and find out about all the real little things that are out there in the world that I can go investigate. Because you know what I'm doing? What I'm doing, Miss Stacy, is I'm going to go everywhere in the world that has a scary thing. And I'm going to try to film it. I'm going to go to Loch Ness. And I'm going to go see if I can find like the Chupacabra, Bigfoot, and, and, and go hunt ghosts. And I'm going to film it all with Chad. And I'm going to make a found footage movie. I mean, you've only got so much money, like, that's going to be a lot of props and costumes. But I don't need props and costumes. It's just going to be me and those real-life things. All the things that hide in the dark and go bump in the night. No. <laughs> They're not real, though. Like, 
people make up those stories all the time. Like the Blair Witch, for instance. Like that's Blair Witch real. is real. No, 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 no. What? No, they. It was a movie. They had like. It just, it wasn't real, like people thought it was real, and so like cops went out there, cops went out there and looked for the people, they never found people, but because it was fake. Okay, okay, so you're telling me that people planned to go out in the woods and hang out there for like a week, and then just film it and have it look poopy? Because I know if I was making like a real, real, real movie, I'd spend a lot of money on it. But see, these things are real, which is why the video looks all crappy and stuff. <laughs> But you don't even see the witch. Well, you're not supposed to. She's invisible. You're only supposed to see her when it's like your time or something. No, no. Like all, all you see is the guy standing in the corner, just like man. And it was real though. Didn't you see? Over. It was fake. It was the, even on the internet. Look it up. No, no. It wasn't. Are you really letting her do this? That's just what she wants you to think. Oh, he's. He hey, he's getting paid. I don't think he cares. He, he had a job. He's our old school janitor. Well, he's my cameraman now. Aren't you, Chad? Okay, so before embarking on this adventure, I sought the advice of a filmmaking guru. So, we're going to go in to go see Shane, who's a professional filmmaker, and he is going to give me a little consultation about filmmaking. So, hopefully this will go good, okay? You know, this doesn't look like an office, it looks like a house. Come on, Chad. Oh, he looks like a douche. I can hear him from here, he's talking on the phone. I don't know if I want to see a douche quite close up. Chad, you go first. I'm scared, Chad. You go. <laughs> yeah, no, you tell Joel Steve Urgen that he'll have to give me a call. Uh, yeah, don't give me my phone number. Oh, hello. Who are you? I'm I didn't Betty. order craft services yet. I'm Betty. Did we talk on the phone? Hi, oh. Betty. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, the, 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 I found a tape lady. Yeah. Get a chair, bring it up. Oh. Yeah, no, yeah, and yeah, you tell George Spielberg, I, yeah, I'm not taking his call either. Yep, peeps. So, what can I do you for? Um, I wanted to see about getting a quote for, um, well, to rent you out, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've certainly come to the right place. We're a professional studio. We only use the best equipment. We have the best Lowell's lighting system ever. It's like uh, 150 dishes that we set up on these big stands and trees, and we light everything. It's better than, remember when Bonanza used to shoot night for day? This is like day for night. It's awesome. Uh, okay. Um, that or you could use the Ari Ariola camera. That's the brand new high def. Vivid, shoots in special spectrums. Maybe you can catch some of your monsters. I remember I read your memo. Or someone read it to me. I don't actually read. Oh, uh, well, that, that all sounds really complicated and expensive. Oh, do you want to make a movie or what? Well, yeah, but we don't really have, like, sets or anything, because it's real. It's, it's like reality TV and, and found footage movies, like Blair Witch. Blair Witch is real, and, and Cloverfield is real, and so it's going to be real like that. So we don't have to pay for sets and actors, and there's no lines or anything. It's just me. Hmm. And whatever I find. <laughs> ah. And Chippy there is going to be shooting all the footage for you? His, his name is Chad, and, and I was actually hoping to hire you, too. So I have two cameramen, and, you know, because if I find, like, like we're going to West Virginia to look for a ghost, and then we're going to the, to the woods to look for a witch, right? right? So if I actually see them, I don't want it to be, like, uh, just look all crappy, like the footage of the Bigfoot and all that. Cloverfield? You know? Well, yeah, I want it to look nice, though. No, I meant Cloverfield looks like ass. No, it doesn't. It's real. <laughs> Wow. It's real! All right, well, I have a standard contract. It's $3 million for three days. I'm assuming you'd need me for about three weeks? Oh, oh well, no. Um, Four that, weeks? That sounds really exciting. My calendar happens to be clear. That, I could work you in. But I don't have that much money. Because you remind me of Mary Jane. I don't have that much money, though. Ah, what do you have? Oh, well, not $3 million. Yes, well... 
I don't know. I suppose it could get you a deal maybe on a seven hundred fifty thousand. I don't have that per day. much either. I mean, it, it's that much just for you and, a, and your camera. Well, I bring an entire crew. I don't feed them, by the way. Well, I make them drive to locations all on their own without GPS. But I, but I have Chad. To he help you. Chad, I don't. I. Is he going to be using that camera? Well, what's wrong with my camera? Well, uh, I don't see the spectroscope that you'll be able to capture these ghosts with. Well. But that's why I'm here to hire you, mm -hmm. so we can have, you know, a better camera. Right. Well, because I do have the latest gear, the hydroscopic ultra-frequency uh, areola from Avid. And we, we shoot and do post all at the same time. It's really damn fast, which is why I charge, you know, 500 grand a day. Well, okay. Well, I'm wanting to do a movie like, you know, like Cloverfield, so I'm going out and I'm finding those things, and, mm. and I'm doing one like Blair Witch. So, would, would my camera work for that? Yes, I'm sure that would be sufficient. Especially with Chet at the handle. Oh, so, so my camera is okay? Ah, uh, sure, whatever. You won't find distribution, but whatever. That's fine. Oh, well, we're not going to, like, direct to distribution. I was hoping to... Do up. Sundance? Do the film festival no, route? No, I was hoping to, to do it like, like they did with Blair Witch, you know, for real, where, you know, you put it... Put it on the sidewalk, and hopefully somebody else will find it, and they'll turn it in, and it'll it'll be cyclic like that. That's a found movie. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh. I don't know if that was worth the consulting fee I paid, but hey, yay! I'm ready for the first leg of my adventure. It's gonna be awesome. You should put a molten chocolate moat around the house. We did that when we were eight. Oh, wait, that's right. I remember that, because you had to shave your cat. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, mom was so pissed about that. I know, right? I mean, hey, I thought I could get a good aim with my molten chocolate gun. You both did. Oh, hey, Jack Drake. Oh. So, hi everyone, this is my best friend Stacy. She's the official research assistant on this movie, and she has a new lead for me. I called one guy. Mm-hmm, a source, right? If he's a source of anything, it's how to play Diablo 3 so much, he doesn't have time to take showers. Oh, Stacy. <laughs> okay, remember, we talked about like, how we present our facts is a little bit more important than how, like, what the facts actually are. It's not really lying, it's just presentation, you know? Okay, yeah. Okay, Chad, just remember to throw all this part away, and then you start the scene after I do the in editing, okay? You got it? Okay. okay. Hi, everyone. This is my best friend, Stacy, and she's the official research assistant on this movie, and she has a new lead for us. Yep, I've been hitting the phones hard, and my best source, the guy who has never given me a bad tip, has a new lead for you. Okay, great, what is it? So he's totally sure that some vampire is hanging out by some warehouse, and he gave me the address. Oh, no, okay. I should get that. Um. Hi, I'm Betty Going, and I'm getting ready to go on yet another little adventure. And I just wanted to show you my little kit or bag. I have my rosary. These are really, really important because this shit against playing with vampires does not work. You need something real, and this is a real rosary. And I don't have my holy water yet, but I'll be getting it. So this is really, really important. Don't snigger, Chad. I can do this. You know, only one security guard guards this place. Such a joke. He's probably got like a way out of shape body and a big, fat, disgusting ugh, beer belly. And he's probably all ugly. And his personality, got a great personality because it, that's what they need to guard their properties. All, all good guards need that. And oh, 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 and, oh uh, this, this concludes our web video on uh, how to clean a lock. Please tune in next week for how to clean a random stranger's doorknob. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. Uh, 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 thank you for your time.
that guard is totally their familiar. A familiar is a guard that stands watch during the day. That's him. Hey Chad, why didn't you warn me when he was coming up behind me? He almost got me totally busted. You know, Chad, sometimes I think you're not on my side in this. saw in paranormal activity really happened. Duh, Monica. Have you been overusing the cough syrup again? <gasps> Monica, it really happened. I mean, did that look like a Hollywood movie to you? It had the glacial pace of real life and was full of stupid people doing stupid things. <sighs> there wasn't even a single quip in it. Okay, so quarantine. Surely you don't think that happened. Again, didn't look like a Hollywood movie, did it? And zombies taking over an entire apartment building wouldn't have, you know, maybe made the freaking news? Ah, that's just a cover-up. So you're telling me the media covered up the entire destruction of New York City by the Cloverfield monster? Hey, I haven't been to New York City since then. Have you? <laughs> Betty! Have you? No, you I haven't. haven't. The defense rests, Your Honor. You're freaking insane. <sighs> you know what? All I need to do is have my camera with me, Go to places where cool things happen, make sure I film it, and make Hollywood Bank. It's only four steps, and it's easy. It's gonna work. For Christ's sakes. Hey, you know what? I supported you. I supported you through five years of American Idol. And your voice sounds like a squirrel with its nuts and a vice. Touche. That dream died hard. So, you know what? You should support me, because I'll listen to that. Fine. But let me ask you this. Okay. What did all those people in all of those movies have in common? Hmm. Eternal battery life? Nope. Hmm. The cameraman would rather keep filming than to help their friends and put down the camera? Nope. Hmm. Sound quality is always inexplicably good even though the cameras are no. crap? No! Everybody always dies before the end of the movie. You never notice that? Ah, that's just a coincidence. A coin- Betty! Something that happens every single time is not a coincidence. It's a reality. Hmm. You know what? Then I'll hire a professional victim. That'll work. Who the hell would do that? Oh, somebody will do it. Money talks and BS walks. <laughs> oh, come on. They have people that inseminate cows for a living and work at Taco Bell. Somebody would rather be a professional victim. Somebody would, I'm sure. You can't spend money if you're dead. Who? No one would take that job. Five years. American Idol. Five years. Five whole years. Fine, I'll help you. You will? Thank you. <laughs> Yay. I have my crime scene investigator kit. It includes folding magnifying glass, fingerprinting kit including powder, lifting tape and brush, evidence envelope, plastic gloves, tweezers, and crime scene tape. So, you know, just in case Chad doesn't make it, I can section off the crime scene and call the police and then jump off. But yeah, I thought this would just make me a completely legit investigator, so I had to have it. Okay, so we are at the house of this girl named Lauren, who apparently saw Bloody Mary last week. I have a special present for her. It was really expensive, but it's worth it if she takes me to where she saw it. And, but you know, she may go all like dark side, crazy, psycho Candyman chick on us. So if she does, just make sure that you film it and you don't get any blood on my really expensive camera, okay? Okay? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Cool. 
you know, she's probably a wallflower. These girls who usually seek out Bloody Mary, they usually are. Hey, Lauren, you got it? Yeah, I'm, I'm Betty, hi. Okay, you got it? Yeah. Uh, here you go. And it's for real, from LG Petro? Yes, it's got paperwork and everything, straight from eBay. I'll probably need to see it. Uh, well, it's in the car with my purse. Uh, will you sh <sighs> show me where it happened? <laughs> Please? I guess. Come in. Okay. Come on. Before you guys judge, this is my parents' crib. You guys want to see where it happened and this is where it did. Oh, why would I judge? Uh, uh because this place is lame as hell. You no, know, it, it's alright. If you say so. I mean, like all these bright colors. We keep good color blind. Is this where it happened? Yeah, this is where it happened. It's been around three times, and her name three times, and there she was sitting inside. Really? What did you yeah. do? Oh my gosh, what did I do? I think I said, excuse me, Adam. Do you think you can not use that huge butcher knife to disavow me? Thank you. I just bought the shirt. So yeah, that's what happened. Really? No! I screamed, ran my ass out of the house, across the yard, and even to my best friend's house. Aww. Well, let's summon her now, then. Are you crazy? No, let's do it. Now. Do you have a death someone? wish or something? No. If you do, you need to get away from me. But I have an awesome wish. <laughs> Come on, it'll be fun. Come on. Please, you do it. You're crazy. <sighs> Bloody Mary? Bloody Mary? Bloody Mary? Ta -da! Okay, how long did it take to happen last time? She would have been here by now. She would have cut you up. So, why is it. Oh! What? Look at that! So? There's a there's a blood spot on the top. Oh my gosh. That means she was here. No, it wasn't. That was for me shaving this morning. No, it wasn't. Yes, that, it was. That, that, is, that is her evidence. That is Bloody Mary evidence. She was here just now. We just didn't see her. No. Every woman in the every world has one. Uh, well, I, I don't. Wait. What? Are you possessed by her? Is that you, Bloody Mary? First of all, no. Second of all, no. Third of all, no. Okay? I don't believe you. Do you go by Bloody or Mary now? I think you should try get the fuck out of my house. But... I... Fine. I try. No. I'm on to you. Bye. Come on, Chad. I'm on to you. Bye-bye. Bye. Shoot me you. Wanna go find some more stuff? or something. I'm on to you! Goody! Why don't you call the police? Maybe not, because I got some weed back here. <sighs> you know what? She is totally possessed. I don't buy it. She is totally possessed. Don't you think? Wait a minute. Maybe... Maybe she left her and jumped into you! Uh-huh. Is that you, Mary? You know what? I'm sleeping with my Glock from now on, just in case. I am. I'm sleeping with a Glock. Should go next? No. Nope. So, yeah. 
Remember what you said on the phone? Oh, oh, yeah, okay, sorry. Um, so there's this haunted hotel, there you go, haunted hotel in Wisconsin, and it's like really, really haunted. Um, if you stay in room 333, at the stroke of midnight, this dead night manager shows up and tells you ghost stories. And if you don't like her ghost stories, or if you don't respect her, she eats your face off. Again with the eating. What's with these monsters and the eating of the facial head area? What? Well, okay. Think about it, right? Vampires want to eat your blood. And then zombies want to eat your brains. And this chick wants to eat your face. Why is that? Look, there's no action going on from here down, from here up. All the eating. All the eating in this vicinity. The brains, the bloods, the face, but from here down, nothing. I guess there's just headless bodies rolling around everywhere. What's with that? True. Maybe they like to see the fear in your eyes as they chow out. Probably. Well, so, are you gonna go? Well, yeah. No. This place is different from the other movies. Like, there are decades of documented evidence. This place is haunted. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> That's what I want. I'm serious, buddy. You need help on this one. That's okay. I'm way ahead of you. I'm hiring a professional victim. A what? A professional victim. Somebody who can come along with me everywhere I go, and then if I do find a monster, they can attack them instead of me so I can get away and it'd make my movie so much cooler. And who the hell do you think is going to take that job? Oh, you'd be surprised what people would do if it means I can be in a movie. You know what, that's what I'll do. I'll take out an ad next week, and I'll start doing interviews as soon as I can. It'll be awesome, I just know it. <laughs> yeah. So I finally told him, you know, just take this job and shove it. I got values, you know. I ain't gonna be serving crap that's less than 30% real meat. I mean, make it real meat of some sort. Monkey meat, anything. So that's why you're looking. Exactly. Okay. Uh, it says here that you have combat training. Yeah, I was a prison guard for four years. Wow. And that entails a lot of fighting? It's like a lesbian Iraq. Oh, I see. So, um, what's this job about? Your ad was a little vague. Oh, I need a professional victim. A professional victim? Mm-hmm. How exactly you mean? Oh, I'm making a found footage movie. Okay. Well, well, you know how in every found footage movie there's always somebody who has to die on camera? Okay. I need to fill that capacity. It would make my movie so much cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, when does the smug gray robbing dish come out to tell me that I've been punked? What? What's punked? You're serious. Mm-hmm. All right, let me get this straight. You need a professional victim to make your movie, uh, what were the words you used? Cooler. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. You need a professional victim to make your movie cooler. Mm -hmm. Are you freaking insane? Oh, uh, I don't believe in labels. And you know what? I got enough crazy in my personal life. I'm pretty full up, so I'm not looking for that in a job right now. Oh, sorry. Did, did I tell you that I pay $100 a day plus meals and not fast food, but the, the good stuff? We're still working out the kinks of the interview process. So how's your little interviews going? Oh, they're going great. Uh -huh. So many good prospects. Uh-huh. And are we lying about that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's gonna turn around though, I just know it. I have faith. I don't know, it doesn't seem like a very appealing job. I wish you'd reconsider. I'm not going to be a professional victim. Please. No, there's no way, so don't even think about it. Oh man. Oh. But I will take you to lunch. Come on, let's get out of here for a while. But I can't. I have to stay here at my post in case somebody comes. I still need to fill the position. Are you sure about that? I don't know. The place next door has cake pops. Cake pops? The one with the little faces on them. Oh, 
You know me too well. And I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Come on. Learning with tank tops. I'll see you in a minute, Chad. Well, Skylar, aren't you gonna storm out like everyone else? So let's look at my hurtful name bingo card, shall we? Nobody's called me fatuous or demented yet, so go ahead. How much are you offering? $100 a day plus meals. Cool. So you'll do it? Sure, why not? Just so you know, though, I'll probably kill any dangerous mofos before they have a chance to get to me. I don't know, you're kind of short. <laughs> I, I may be short, but I had uh, seven older sisters growing up and one bathroom. Trust me, I have a master's degree in fighting. Oh, so the idea of uh, vampires or ghosts or scary ghouls, that doesn't scare you? <laughs> okay, you're, you're not here than squirrel poop, but trust me, I've had crazier bosses. And this one guy, let's call him Dean for safety purposes, uh, he liked to uh, dress up like an insect. An insect? Y you've heard of furries, right? Yeah. Well, he was an insecty. It's, it's this whole thing, just whatever you do, don't Google it. Oh, huh. duly noted. <laughs> I have another question, though. Are you, or have you ever been, a member of the Illuminati? The um, Wait, is that like a rap group with Napoleon and Chaka Amalazoo the Seventh? Sorry, I, I don't know rap. <laughs> no, you fool. The Secret Society. Oh, oh, no! No, no, no. Okay. Cool. So what are we doing first? Oh, okay. Um, well, first, we are going to one of the ten most haunted places ever, and it's right here in Chapel Hill. And why have I never heard of that? They keep it on the down low. They? The Illuminati, of course. Right. So then what's next? Then we are heading to Wisconsin and Illinois. There's tons of haunted places up there. So we're going to be gone for a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. Yeah. Going to have to have someone feed my capybara. Uh, unless it can come along, of course. Oh. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, rodents are gross enough already, and I really don't want to be riding with Mickey on steroids. Oh. Sorry. It's all good. Oh, well, I think we're going to make a great team. <laughs> High five! <laughs> You're really going to leave me hanging? Absolutely. Please? Uh, how much for you to high-five me? <sighs> how much? Um, about ten bucks per high five ought to cover it. Done. <laughs> Yay! It works. Really? Mm-hmm. You think vampires are real? Mm-hmm. Betty, I have a very important question for you, and the way you answer this question is going to decide if I end my employment right here and right now. Okay, sure. Ask me anything. Do you think vampires sparkle? No, duh. Thank God. Yeah, pfft. I can tell the difference between movies and real life. Um... Mm. Okay. So, you need me to pick this lock so we can get into a vampire lair? Mm-hmm. What's their security like? Just one out-of-shape guard who never comes out of his booth. It'll be easy. Okay, so it doesn't... So, Chad totally looks like you're lying to me. Oh, I don't know why he would be looking like that. Chad, I assume it's a guard who walks around a lot and probably is super fit and terrifyingly large. Don't answer that, Chad. Okay, okay, there's a guard. Okay. Wait, so you'll do it? Yeah, I just need to know how fast I need to pick the lock. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm glad I 
caught you. Hey, Stacy, this is Skylar. Hi, Stacy. So, you're the idiot who signed up to be her professional victim. <laughs> so, you're the best friend shamelessly exploiting Betty's madness. Look, don't do this. You're going to get arrested this time. Or maybe just drank. I'm not getting drank. Look, this guard isn't screwing around. I, you showed me the footage from last time. He's serious. Oh, no, he won't catch us. It'll be fine. No, but come on, Skylar. Being a criminal is so hard, right? <laughs> Speaking of which, the prosecutor is probably going to find this video of us actually committing the crime really helpful later on. Get your tail back here. I got run so far under the bus, I went past it and the 18 wheeler behind it. Notice the knife sticking out your back. Yeah, it's all like a two bete. Yeah, <laughs> she just earned every one of those 30 pieces of silver. <laughs> Quizley thought how she messed with me is jacked up. I know, right? Aldrich Ames is blushing. I'm out of betrayal analogies. I think we got the point across, didn't we? Absolutely. No more betraying Skylar. Now get out of here. Hey, uh, since we have this board and everything, uh, do you think possibly we could bribe you into letting us a little bit? Of course not. It's fine. Okay, just worth asking, right? Hey, let me ask you this. What could you possibly want in here? It's just some old, out-of-date computer parts. Five years older than anything anyone would want anyways. Yeah, okay. You totally believe that. Oh, thank you for your time. We'll never bother you again. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Right. What the hell was that? An honest answer and maybe he would have let us in. No! Let's go. He's protecting those vampires. Holy smokes. You know what? You should be applauding me. I handled that situation fully and calmly, and I got us out of there with our throats and blood intact. You're waiting for applause. You are more likely to get applause from the drummer of Death Leopard. You are very lucky. You didn't get arrested this time. Oh, no, it was fine. Skylar and the big security guard got along just fine. Let you in. Well, no, he didn't let us in. But maybe if we try again another three, four, five times, we'll have him more down. Plus. Or maybe he'll have a restraining order against us. It doesn't sound very good either. Well, time to hit the road, Chad. We still have a haunted hotel to go to in Wisconsin. It's supposed to be the most scariest, hauntedest hotel in the whole world. That's what I'm really worried about. That hotel is real. It's not like your other missions. The night manager will eat your face off. Really? Yay! Are you getting this, Chad? God, I'm out of here. <laughs> it's my watch. This watch is a Deglo watch. It's also a, a stopwatch. So in case I need to time anything, because certain spells and seances take a certain amount of time, and you have to be able to count that time off. I also think it's really, really cute because it's all jelly and white. <laughs> wait, wait, say that again. For the record, the Illuminati is behind Ryan Seacrest's career. Now, why? Okay, think about it. How can someone be that smiley and cheerful all the time without being an Illuminati puppet who has their hand up his ass? <laughs> okay, Luna. Oh, I'm Luna Lovegood. Mm hmm. You think Apollo 18 happened. But it did happen! Okay, Luna. <laughs> oh, camera, camera! Oh. Oops. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, let's just acknowledge our differences and embrace them and celebrate them. 
instead of attacking me. <gasps> oh, you're so sweet. Hugs. Yay. Maybe later. <laughs> Always get screwed going through the drive through always. It's the Illuminati. What? It's the Illuminati. I don't have time for your crap. I'm gonna go in and get my toy. Skylar, let me ask you a question. Why would a secret society like the Illuminati give a crap about screwing me out of my Bender toy that was supposed to be in my smile meal? Because. They're, they're all about sowing the seeds of depression and distrust. If you don't trust corporate America, they're helping undermine the system. I just want my Bender toy. There will be other smile meals. Hey, is that camera on? You're supposed to be filming monsters, not smile meals. Uh, they are monsters for doing this to your smile meal. A good idea. So it's like social commentary, yeah? Yeah. Yay! Hi guys. Sorry to interrupt my own movie right now, but I kind of have to. Why? Because the scene that was supposed to be here is lost. Why is it lost? Because Chad forgot to take the lens cap off. Okay, it'll be all right. <clears throat> I'm a problem solver. So, what I did was I drew these little cutouts. See? And this is the hotel hell, and it's all haunted and scary. And here's the guard. And here's Stacy. And there's Skyler. And there's me. La, 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 la. Okay, so let's set the scene. He's not here yet. So. Is this really what you think I look like? Mm-hmm. That's very hurtful. I need that. Okay, let's do it. Do do. Do do. Do Hey, Stacy and Skylar. Let's sneak into this abandoned hotel hell. I have a bad feeling about this, okay, baby. Okay, that's the best you can do with my voice. I'm just gonna do it myself. Yay! Don't throw my drawings on the ground. Didn't mean to. No. I have a bad feeling about this. Can we just do this already? Gah! Hey, you. Hold. Hold me. Hey, you kids. Get out of here before I shoot you. Blam, blam. Blam, 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 blam. Blam, blam. Okay, blam, blam, there's blam. three things I already see wrong with this. One, you forgot the two minutes of crying and blurring you did when he showed up before he even spoke. Two, he was very polite and didn't even raise his voice. Three, he didn't shoot us. And actually, four, why does he sound like Shaft? He was Asian. He looks a little Asian. He has squinty eyes. Yeah. I can't do an Asian accent. Anyway, moving on. Camera. You guys run away while you still can. I will chop the guard with my sword and kick his butt. And I will save you with my great bravado and bravery. Oh, ah, that's ah, so ah, funny ah, because ah, the ah, way I remember it, you threw Skylar into the guard so that we would have a chance to run away. Stacy, what do we talk about? Presentation. It's a real movie. You didn't even run at the right time. So when does Skylar get out of jail anyway? Oh, she's only got a couple of more days. She just got a slap on the wrist. It's not that bad, really. Mm -hmm. ah, I've been vanquished. Bleh. Yay! Let's still run away. Okay, guys, so that's basically what happened in this missing scene. And that's exactly what happened before the scene that you're getting ready to see just now. We've got a real Mickey Mouse production here. Oh, that's okay. I'll just fix it in post. That's what all good filmmakers do anyway, right? Here, come here. 
Why don't you tell me about all these ratchet ghosts? Ratchet? You know, straight crazy. Cray cray. <sighs> like how you're making up all these words. That kind of crazy? I didn't make it up. No human being speaks like that. <sighs> anyway, ghosts and go. Okay, well, there are a lot of ghosts at the West Virginia Insane Asylum. Could you elaborate, for Christ's sakes? Okay, um, there's barfing hair. Um, if you bark in the same toilet three times in one night, then she appears and disembowels you, which has come to the relief of some of her victims because you have to be really, really sick. Oh, oh the, no, that's okay, okay. Uh, well, what else? There's farting Marge. Trusty knife. You always need a knife because you never know when you're going to have to break out of some kind of a shackle or leather straps or whatever. Because in that insane asylum, they may have straps, they may have ropes, some ghost might try to put me on a bed. I don't know, but you need a knife. Okay, so there it is, right behind me. The most haunted ass asylum ever. And you know what? We're going to be going in there and we're going to be meeting ghosts and we're going to be filming them. I'm so excited. Can't wait! You know what? It's okay. My spirits remain high. Oh, come on, Chad, that was funny. Don't be so sour, you know? You get it, right? Spirits, high. <sighs> anyway, they had all kinds of stuff, but they didn't have any ghosts. I mean, they had this like laundry chute thing that started at one of the higher levels and went down, and apparently a female patient had tried to escape through there and she'd gotten stuck and nobody had really discovered like where she was for about four days until she started smelling up the place. So she died there. And then they told us this story about this room that was solitary confinement, that, but they would put more than one person in there, which doesn't make any sense. They called it the oxymoron room. But apparently there were three patients in there and the middle patient was snoring too much. So the other two patients decided to hang him from the pipe that was lining on the ceiling and hang him. But it didn't work. So they put him on the ground and they took one of the feet of the bed and smashed his head in right here. So he died there too. I didn't see him. There's even some room in there that other ghost hunter something or other people had been where there's supposed to be a little girl in there. There's even toys and balls and stuff. But I didn't see anybody. And the ghost lady and the horror guy didn't tell me anything about it so now I have to go look up the story but I didn't get to see her you know which begs the question if any place is going to be haunted it should be this freaking place all kinds of people have died here the tour guide even told me camera shy maybe maybe they just don't like me <sighs> anyway my spirits are still high and I don't care if Chad thinks that's a stupid joke. Next, we're going to this evil Middle Eastern palace that's up in the hills and there's supposed to be an evil genie there. I already know what I'm gonna do with my wishes. One, I'm gonna ask that Pushing Daisies isn't canceled because that show is rad. And two, I wanna be a demon and monster magnet. That way I can kick back and just let things happen to me. And three, I don't know, money or something? I'd be happy with the first two anyway, you know? So, on to the next adventure and hopefully something great will happen. Come on, Chad, let's go. I have my encyclopedia of mythical creatures.
because I read up on this all the time, but you know what? Just in case I find something and I don't know what it is, I can research it and look it up and figure it out. genies are attracted to. Okay, so we're at the palace where the evil genie lives. So I guess it's time to get all... That's it, right? Come on, that was good. Chad? Okay, I got it. What this? Dun 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 Right? Oh come on Chad. Do you not watch any TV? <sighs> Strong silent type, eh? Come on. We're getting ready to go into the palace. We have to take our shoes off, but that's cool. I'm okay with that. As long as I get to see the evil genie. And look where we are. We had to come so many miles to get here. We are in the middle of nowhere. We almost died on the way here. So I hope it's worth it. Well, I didn't find any genie inside, so I thought I'd come out here and look for a stupid ass. Oh God, I, I almost hurt myself. He's not in there. Okay, I guess that's it for West Virginia. I didn't find any genies or lobotomy zombies or Whatever. So, what have we learned? Hmm. That people sure love doing lobotomies back in the day, cause, uh, damn. <laughs> and here I was hoping that we learned that ghosts and genies aren't real. Oh, they're real. I just have to find them. Okay, let me ask you this. Why do you suppose you haven't found any yet? Hmm. Well, maybe it's no fault of my own. Maybe it's their fault. See, maybe they just haven't found me. It's like, like think about the penny that I found, uh -huh. right? It gave me my freedom. Did I find it or did it find me? You found the penny because you're a person. Pennies can't find shit because they're not alive. Uh, no, I mean like, you know, what you put out into the universe and then what the universe gives back. The universe gave you a case of the batshit crazies. <sighs> just, just shut up. It'll be fine. Once my movie is done, you'll see. Wait. You'll see. This isn't going to be part of your movie, is it? No. Then why are you filming? Because Chad needs the practice. <laughs> right, Chad? So yeah. this is going to get deleted right away, right? Right? Right. You lying hoe bag. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is glow in the dark craft glue. And this is so just in case I need to make anything glowy on the go, I can put it directly onto my clothes, or my jewelry, and I can glow. I love glowy stuff. Okay, so guess who we have in our hotel room with us? My best friend, Stacy. They know who I am. No, they don't. You've introduced me like 50 times. Uh, but this is your close-up. Pretty sure I've gotten like a million of those by now. Well, you get more. Hi. <sighs> Who is he supposed to call? I don't know. Maybe you should call him. Call him now. Was that a Schwarzenegger thing? You really want to have a Schwarzenegger off right now? Maybe. Okay. Call him now. Call him now. Call him now. No. Get to the chopper. <laughs> Do get it to the, now! Get to the chopper! Do it now! Chad, which is better? No. I will be Bach. I will be Bach. I will Who's be Bach. Who's is better? I will be Bach. I'll be Bach. I'll be Bach. <clears throat> Mine's better. Be... No, it's not. I'll be Bach. Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper now! Get to the chopper now! You can't do the now, right? <laughs> now! Now! Get to the chopper now! Get to the chopper! I can't do it. I win! You did what to the bailiff? All the way in, you say. Oh. 
And what happened to the judge's gavel? All the way in, you say. <sighs> okay. So, another week in jail. Great. Tell Skylar I said hi. Don't get too happy yet. If she doesn't come back soon enough, you're going to have to get dragged to hell with me. We're going to the water park. We're going to the water park. Road trip, road trip, road trip to the water park. Water park, water park. We're going to the water park. Oh, water. What's that? What's what? Hey, camera. Why are you filming? Oh, I'm just practicing. I doubt it. You've been filming for months, and by now you know how to use the camera while Chad's driving. Well, you can never have enough practice. Your eyes doing that little twitchy thing it does when you're lying, ho bag. Fine. Uh, surprise! We're going to the teenage zombie house. Oh. Yay! Why me? What about Skylar? Hey, Skylar doesn't get out of jail for another day, and I need backup, and I don't want to wait. I'm not your professional victim. But you are today. I can't believe you tricked me like this. I wanted to go to the water park. I had this dance and everything, and I even got this bikini special just for this. And water wings. And goggles. Zombies are better than water parks anyway. I hate you. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. Whatever Skylar does with it. She usually just holds it and looks like a badass. Mm-hmm. You can do that too. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Uh, don't leave me. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Keep going. Keep going. Hey, it was an easy mistake for one of my witnesses to make. You know, teenage stoners look just like teenage zombies. That's some scathing social commentary. What? Nothing. Well, hey, at least I got to practice my hand signals. See? <laughs> yeah, you need to work on those because you suck at them. Mm-hmm. I'm trying, see? <laughs> Bitch, you owe me a trip to the water park. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we went to the teenage zombie house, and apparently they were teenage stoners, not zombies. So those zombies weren't real. Well, they sort of, but anyway, that's okay, because this journey, this journey is important to me, and this journey is about discovery and adventure. And you know what? It's not about the destination. It's about the journey there. I think some great philosopher said something. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. I think this work is so important. I really do. I really believe in the, the cause because you know what we're doing? We're going out there and we're debunking all of this fake crap, all of the BS like ghost stories and sparkly vampires and all that. That's not real. I'm searching for the truth and that's important because people need to know the truth. You know, it makes me think of Michelangelo. All right, Michelangelo, in case you don't know who he is, he's the great sculptor guy and artist, I think. Michelangelo said that the whole, his sculpture is inside of his slate, his rock, or whatever you call it. He said, you know, my sculpture is in there and it's my job to remove it little by little and reveal my sculpture inside. I'm assuming it's a metaphor for creativity, but I could be wrong. So the earth is like the rock, and there's all these little fake things on the outside of it, and I have to chip away at it like a magical and amazing painter. Painter, sculptor, like a sculptor. That, well, he was a painter too, a sculptor. And then there'll be a beautiful thing inside, and that will be the earth with all these real and magical things in it. I'm so excited. I believe in this so much because, you know, when this first started, it was all about my want of found footage movie glory and all that, but it's become so much more than that. It's
it's so much more important. I realize because I'm doing important work here. This is now my job to go out and find those fake things in search of the real things. And one day I will find a real, truly real thing. Now nobody believes me, but I will. I will find it. I have faith. I have belief that I will find what I'm looking for. Because you know, people, people are so ignorant. People are so committed to their uh, comforting slumber that they just want to ignore the things that go bumping and knocking or whatever in the night. They just want to ignore it and pretend it's not there. But it's there. I'm telling you, I promise you, it's there. You just have to look for it. Keep your eyes open. Keep an open mind. And you know, I try to talk to people. I try to, to show them the light and they're like, oh, you're crazy. And I'm like, I'm not crazy. But Stacy and Skylar do it to me all the time. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crazy. I'm not. It's real. I know it's real. You vampires and, and witches and haunted things and ghosts and zombies and just all of you. I will find you. I will find you. I will hunt you and I will expose you. I will. I promise you. And there's nothing you can do about it. <gasps> Stacy? Um, yeah. Hey, you're not still like teensy bit angry about my uh, water park roofs? What gave you that idea? Oh no, Betty! There won't be a troll under that bridge. You're stupid! It wasn't. It was a homeless guy. And I got drenched for nothing! Is that the Stacy cut out? No. I told Ow! you to get rid of that! But I like it! It doesn't even look like me! Yes, it does. I don't even have a bathing suit like that. My reality is brighter than yours! At least my reality is reality. Let's go find the blue fairy! Tee -hee, tee -hee. No, that's being an annoying bitch. Yeah. What are you doing? If I have to go on this trip and get dragged to hell with you, I have to amuse myself somehow. Oh. Let's go chase the windmill! Yeah! Windmill? What? I don't get it. I'm not surprised. It's from a book. Oh wait, get to the chopper! Why are we doing this? Get to the chopper! I just... Get to the chopper now! Get to the it's chopper the now. now! It's for the now. Now! Get to the chopper now! Is it one hand or two? I, f I feel like it's like... Just uh, one? Yeah. Get to the chopper now! <laughs> I will be back. I will be back. Hasta la vista, baby! See, it's for the now. Oh, so I can't do it what unless you, it's the now? What do you think, Chad? Like, now or like, is it good for like, I will be back? Does it have... You don't talk enough. Okay, so I can do the, get to the chopper now! I can do the hand. Get to but the chopper now! But if there's no now, I can't do the hand, so no. wait. So like, okay. It's like, I will be back. So wait, the bridge is out! What kind of, no wait, well in the movie, he's like, the bridge is out! Yeah, Jimmy Lee so Curtis is like, what is he talking about? The bridge is out. Who's is, who's is better, Chad? Make a decision. Yeah, it, hey, the bridge is out. Like the that, bridge is like, out. It's out in your hand. Hasta la vista, babe. Well, he's more like the bridge is out because she's in the limo. Yeah, that's what know. I'm saying. Like he has that motion rather than like ah. Hi everybody. So I paid Chad twenty dollars to record this message and to insert it into the final cut. Listen. I'm really worried that everybody watching this is going to think that my best friend Betty is totally crap smearing insane. But she's. she's really not. crazy. Okay, so, so she's totally nuts. But she's a really good friend, and that's not the only thing to know about her. Like, she, she rescues kittens, and she works soup lines, and she donates to charity, and she <laughs> believes in vampires. I'm not really helping, am I, Chad? 
I guess what I'm trying to say is that she's a really good friend and a really great person. And I mean, we all have one of those people in our lives who is just totally insane about one aspect of life, like they vote independent or they eat potted meat, but otherwise they're a really good friend. Of course we do! Right? And that's how you stalk and kill gnomes. And next time I'll teach you how to trap unicorns. Thanks, Chad. I have my favorite book. I keep this on me at all times. Every purse I have, I have it. Okay, so here we are, me and Stacy, and we're in these creepy ass woods where there's supposed to be a hell mouth. A hell mouth is a place that where you can get dragged to hell. Are you sure it's dragged? I'd much prefer my business to hell be the result of rest hustling or being pushed. Pushed to hell, that sounds good, right? This whole dragging thing just isn't good for my hair. Let's just bounce. Hey, no, no, no. Uh -oh. You have Skylar's sword, you'll be fine. But I don't have her badassness. Yes, you do. If you have the sword, you have the badassness. That's how it works, okay? We'll be fine. All right? Let's do this, okay? You're my best friend. Come on. Chad! Come on, Chad! Chad! Come on! This way! What are you doing? What are you doing? That's when he's not down with getting dragged to hell. He goes out the people and hell money. Really? Fine. Sounded pretty amazing. Yay! Yay! Can we go now? Yay! I am so and I have no idea so what we're amazing. doing. I'm and I really, like, really wanted to go to the, to the vampires, and I didn't understand I because I couldn't like find a ghost, and nobody's helping like me, and no one's going with me. So I don't even understand why it makes so any sense. And everybody's talking, and nobody's listening to me, and it's making me really, really upset. Metaphor 
word for hell. everyday any which way to quantify your approach to life as well as your goals and often helps to show you where change is happening or where it needs to change in order to improve your life. Quantified self uses those uses methods that are proven to be effective in keeping track of multiple things like Work, exercise, and sleep, weight, and even energy usage. Whether you prefer pen and paper, or phone apps, or graphs and charts, or you know anything like that, the use of quantified self has is effective in helping to track progress of anything involving professional. Okay, or you know, has Betty ever told you that I have like a degree in global martial arts? Because I can rip out your throat in like six different languages while we just sleep. Oh, I'm so excited you finally agreed to come on one of these adventures with us, Stacy. The 16 hour drive better be worth it. It will be. This house on the rock is so amazing. Oh my god, you're right! It is! Look at all this! Wow, I I'm not easily impressed, but this place is awesome. Yay! You guys like it! Like it? Are you crazy? I love it! Me too! Oh, Chad, I forgot to ask. You did take the lens cup off, right? You did. Okay, yay! Let's go film all this amazing stuff! Yes, let's! I can't wait to see all this awesome footage! Me too! Okay, so Stacy, how does that House on the Rock footage look? Does it look great? It's awesome, huh? It's so awesome that you're speechless. You're speechless too, aren't you, Skylar? It's so great. Oh, come on! Don't be afraid. Let in the happiness. Don't fear the happiness. Just accept it. Accept the happiness. You too, Skylar. Stay with me. Yay! You too, Stacy. Yay! Everyone, yay! Yay! Please! Oh, the sound is really good. What? Chad left the lens cap on, didn't he? Did he? <laughs> Betty! 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 Get Betty, off of him! him. Yeah. Come on. Stop! Chad, Betty! Mean it. Yeah. Mean it. Oh, it's Get okay! Off. Get off! Come on! How long have they been in the emergency room now? Three hours? That's about part of the course. Do you think the doctor will call the police? Probably not. Think they've removed Betty's fist from Chad's thorax yet? Probably. Oh, I can't stay mad at you, Chad. I can. It's not helpful, Skylar. Thorax is looking much better, Chad. Let's just go. That was a big fat nothing. Mm-hmm. So what's next? Where are we going next? Let's try to take another stab at the vampire warehouse. So we're going back to North Carolina? Sure. Yes. Excited? It's indicative of the unawesomeness of this trip that I'm actually excited to go back to North Carolina. You feel the same, Stacy? People are worried about you, Betty. No, it's cool. I've hired a professional victim. She'll take the hit for me while I get away. You know what they say. You don't have to run faster than the monster. You just have to run faster than someone in your party to, so the monster can get them. Yeah. 
No, I mean this whole found footage obsession of yours. Oh, I am not obsessed. The psychic in paranormal activity was a very brave man. What? He was a scared little abject coward who didn't even stay to help those people. That scared little... Uh -huh. Very clever, but you know what? That was just me truthing. Uh -huh. I am not upset. It's okay, Betty. We all have our struggles. Me, I'd like to believe Summer Glau is not a cancellation curse on any television show she's a part of. It's a sickness. I freely admit it. These things are real, and I'm going to prove it. Betty, I... Uh, do I really have to idol bomb you again? Really? Fine. I support you. Okay, so what's your next mission? Vampires. Can you know, at least, you know, not fall in love with one of them? <laughs> Talk about your raging cliches. I only fall in love with the sparkly ones. <laughs> oh, come on, that was a joke. Ugh. That was totally funny. Sheesh, lighten up. You know I hate Twilight. Fine, after I finish having this heart attack. <laughs> at least you have a sense of humor about your madness. <laughs> Next thing is duct tape. You have green duct tape and you have silver duct tape. And this one is to be seen and this one is just for practical purposes. But duct tape fixes everything, including like falling off limbs and heads, fixing zombies, stuff like that. This is a must. She is absolutely crazy. We're talking like crap smearing insanity here. So if you just let me like indulge her delusion and look around the place, she's gonna realize that there's no vampires here and never bug you again, I promise. Well, okay. You know, it seems harmless enough. Why don't you guys come back at 9 p.m. tonight? I'll leave the door unlocked. I'll skip my rounds. But just make sure you're out here about 9.30, all right? Awesome. Thanks. Will do. You're welcome. Come on, Chad. Hey, got our drinks. Awesome. You ready to try to pick that lock again? Actually, while you were gone, I totally talked to the guard and bribed him into letting us come in at 9 tonight. At 9? Yes. At night, mm -hmm. when they're at full power. Okay, you want to film a movie or not? Well, yeah. Okay, would you rather potentially walk upon a coffin that's probably locked, or stumble upon a awake and totally vamped out vampire? That's a good point. As long as we don't get drank. We're not getting drank. Okay, well then let's go home and prepare. So Skylar has already picked out her vampire outfit and it's so awesome. So I can't pick what I want to wear. I mean, I want to have a lot of neck exposure because like, you know, I have a cute neck and everything. But um, I also bought this perfume that has just a hint of camel butt in it. And I don't think the vampires will be able to resist. Hey! Okay, now that I have my vampire hunting outfit, I'm super excited. How are we doing on steaks? I think we're good, actually. Yay! Okay. Well, there is a 24-hour drive through blessing service just down the street from the Vampire Warehouse. So we're going to go take a couple of gallons of water and get them blessed. And we're just going to load this puppy up with holy water and we'll be good to go. Or Methodist? Um, Catholic. 
Do you want a Buffy collector's plate for a dollar more? Yes, please. One hundred forty-seven dollars, please. Drive around. Got our holy water. I'm so excited. We're gonna go vampire hunting now. Dude, for $147, I could have gotten my religious GED and blessed that shit myself. Hey, if we hadn't gone through the drive through, I wouldn't have gotten my Buffy plate. That's all you care about, isn't it? Hey, I love Buffy. Okay. Don't you talk about Buffy. Turn that off. I have my phone. My phone is the most important thing because I need this to keep in touch with my Cold Stone Creamery buddies so I can keep my job. I also have it because I use it to record some of the found footage that I get. So, this is the most important thing. <sighs> okay, so here we are about to make another attempt to get into the super vampire warehouse. After so many attempts, we better see like at least five vampires, or this is a ripoff. Hey, as long as they show up on film, I really don't care how many there are. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Here we go. What? Chad's already out here filming us. Yep, so? Okay, we're inside the van. Chad's filming us. We open the door, step out, and he's already there. That's impossible. No, it's not impossible, silly. It happens in found footage movies all the time. Like in Paranormal Activity, right? There was a close-up of that psychic, like, right in the middle of the scene, where the camera was at a completely different angle and a completely different distance. So that is impossible to do in a one-take, one-camera situation. But they managed to do it. But that just raises more questions. Stop asking questions. We're in. <laughs> so here we are in the most vampiriest warehouse in the whole world. This is really, really real. Finally going to get something really cool. <laughs> I don't know about that, Bob. Wait, I thought you said you didn't believe in vampires. I don't. Think about all the other people that are going to be in here. I don't know. Oh, I assure you, it'll be vampires. <laughs> Mirror boy! Mirror boy! You can't call out the vampires like your dog. What are you saying? You're, you're dragging me into this. <laughs> Me boy! Sitting here waiting to see if Skylar turns. I'm not gonna turn. Okay, you were bit like ten more times than I did. If anyone's gonna turn, it's you. <sighs> Shush you. Shush. I'm working. So, I can't believe that Chad dropped the camera. Just while we were starting to get something good. Of course. Damn it. But, that's okay. Because I brought this little backup camera. I thought a lot of good it did today, though. I'm starting to get hungry. <gasps> for blood? No, not for blood. Cause I'm down a couple of gallons. I don't think I can help you. I don't want your blood. I mean like, I wouldn't be opposed to you having some of Chad's blood because he's gotta come back for his iPhone at some point. I don't want Chad's blood either! <sighs> so the moral of this story is, if you're gonna do this sort of thing, you have to have very brave cameramen, like in all the movies that I've seen. Like, especially Hud from uh, Cloverfield. He was so brave. <laughs> Betty, for the last time, those movies aren't real. Shush, probable vampire! I cannot trust anything that you say until I'm sure that you're not going to turn. <sighs> so, 
I guess I'll be hanging up my found footage attempts now. We have enough for a full length movie. We got to see 12 seconds of a vampire. And if Skylar turns. I'm not gonna turn. If she does turn, mm -hmm. I'll edit it back in. This is Betty Going, signing off.